at the time today. I know that there's been a lot of confusion surrounding booster doses. And while there's still some details being worked out at the federal level, I can share with you all where we're at today at Novant Health. Um, starting this week, we will be administering a single booster dose of the Pfizer vaccine to certain populations, and that's in keeping with the FDA and CDC guidance that's come out. It's really up to the individual on whether or not they fall within the population groups that the CDC's outlined, um, and those include if you're between 65 and older and live in a long-term care setting, the recommendation is that you should get the booster shot. If you're between 50 and 64 and have underlying medical conditions, you should get the booster shot. If you're between 18 and 49 with underlying medical conditions, you may, not should, get the booster shot. It depends on the individual's benefits and risks. If you're between 18 and 64, and because of where you work, you're at an increased risk for being exposed to COVID-19, then you may, again, not should, get the booster shot. Really, again, depending on the benefits and risks for each individual. We understand that there are questions surrounding what medical conditions would warrant a booster shot. And as a general rule, underlying medical conditions include cancer, diabetes, obesity, pregnancy and kidney and liver disease. If you're in the may not should category and have more questions, we really recommend that you speak to your primary care physician or a trusted healthcare provider about your individual risks or benefits of receiving this additional dose. Uh, but across the board, it's recommended an individual who falls into one of these categories waits at least six months after they got their first uh, round of Pfizer vaccine. So six months after that second dose uh, of their original series. Individuals self-identifying a test to their eligibility so that we ask that they do that before they come and make an appointment. They don't have to have any kind of doctor's um, clearance or referral to, to get that third booster shot. We're not taking walk-ins right now at any of our vaccination locations for this third dose at this time. Anyone who's eligible can schedule through my chart or at getvaccinated.org. And you don't have to be a Novant Health patient to schedule through either of those platforms. Um, some of our Novant Health primary care and pediatric clinics can also administer to their patients. So if you're there for a visit or prefer getting the vaccine in your medical home, that may be an option for you. People should bring their vaccination card and that just helps us verify that they completed the Pfizer series and that they're at the six month, six month point after that second shot. If someone lost their card and they didn't get the first two Pfizer shots at Novant Health, then we ask that they contact their site to confirm that they're six months out. We'll, at, we'll be able to access the records of anyone who received their first two Pfizer doses at a Novant Health location and we can help them get a replacement card.